right, it's time to meet the bad guy in Justice League. We're going to face off against Lex Luthor today. So with that, today's workout is four rounds of this workout. Now you do get a two minute rest in between those rounds. So whenever I program in a two minute rest between those rounds, that means you are supposed to push the pace of those rounds, okay? Because you do get two minutes of recovery. So with that, nothing really complicated here in the body weight version. Um, these are all movements we've done a lot. So this is where you should have some proficiency here now. And let's really see you push that pace. Okay, so we're gonna start out. It would be 25 air squats, right? So we're doing that full range of motion air squat, right? Again, from that side, we're not compromising position. We're not bottoming out. We're getting our good quality air squats. Full hip extension at the top. No shorting them, right? Some people as we're getting trying to go fast, we're trying to balance them. No, no, we want full range of motion. That's where we're gonna get that strength. The good stuff happens in the bottom, and it happens at the top. So we gotta get that full range of motion. After that, we're gonna go into 50 line hops. Now, the people doing the equipment version have to do double unders today. So that means for you, it's back and across is one rep. So, one, two, three. Okay, line hops, fairly straightforward. After that, after those 50 line hops, we are going to move into sit-ups. So, proper sit-up form. We've got our feet together, right? Nice tall chest. We're keeping everything nice and tight. We are lifting with our core, right? And you notice that those shoulders come past that hip crease, and I'm touching toes to make sure I get that full range of motion. Right? And you notice I'm not pulling like this, right with my neck. I'm maintaining flat, right? You'll see that my chin to my chest maintains the same angle. So, now if that's really too much of those feet crossed, and I know that can be difficult for some, you can hook those feet underneath the couch, right? Again, same thing. We're looking for that full range of motion, that full sit up. There's only 25 of them, so this is a good chance to work on that core. After we're done that, we're right back into 25 air squats. Once you've done all that work, you will rest for two minutes and repeat. So this one's a little trickier to watch on the clock, but watch it real close so that you don't take a longer break than that two minutes. Record your time each round. On your break is when you get your drink of water, not while you're doing the work. It's the one where I really, really want you to hammer that pace. That is the goal. So if we start thinking 50 air squats, 50 air squats should be just under a minute, right? If, if we're doing full range of motion. If you're telling me you're doing 50 air squats in 20 seconds, we're probably not doing full range of motion, right? So let's make sure we get that. Those line hops back and across, I'm gonna say that's just about a second each. So 50 seconds, let's talk, call it 45 seconds to 60 seconds on the air squats, right? And then 25 sit-ups. So you see, I'm looking two, two and a half minutes per round, two minute rest, so you're almost going one to one rest. That's why I want you to push pace today.